Hi! A lot of projects don't use unit tests. They might have no tests or they might have high level tests that hit the public API and go all the way through dependencies into the database and so on. Um, this is usually because uh, it doesn't seem to make any sense to unit test anything. I'd argue that this is because the design is bad. Well, at least let's see how we can improve the design so that um, it makes a lot of sense to unit test. Uh, as an example, I have an application which which you can't unit test at all, and we're going to refactor that so that we can see how productive and useful it is to unit test almost the entire logic part of the application. Um, so this existing application uh, is a REST API and it hits a database and the SQL queries are right in the controller where they can be unit tested. We'll also see that uh, quite often when we make the code testable at a unit test level it also becomes a bit more reusable. Um, so here we actually have a new feature request and it's going to be quicker to put in tests in place for the existing code, refactor it, and then add the new feature using TDD. So we'll see how testing and refactoring actually can give short-term benefit. Now here's the code I'm talking about. It's um, uh, on GitHub and uh, it's an application that uh, calculates the price of lift passes in a skiing resort. So that could be just any logic, but let, let's take this for the, for the uh, while. What what are we going to do here? First, we're going to cover with higher level tests. Then we're going to refactor to make it, the code unit testable and make it ready to be reused for a new feature. Then we're going to pull down the existing high level test that we have written in the first step and put them at a unit level. So there will be very few uh, tests staying at the top and thus we'll be respecting the testing pyramid. We'll see how that improves productivity for this case. And uh, finally we'll uh, implement the new feature using TDD. So what, kind of, what does this code look like? So let's have a look at the code here. So we basically have one file which is implementing the REST API. And the, um, it looks like this, so we have one route here where we can actually configure some prices. And then we have another get route here, which is basically going to return a result. So we can see the here that uh, if, if we're young enough, then it's, the cost is zero. The problem here is that we have uh, SQL queries right in the controller, and we even have other SQL queries mixed it into the actual application logic. So we cannot test the application logic without access to the database. So as we can see further down uh, is that lift pass pricing is not so easy. Uh, it has a lot of business logic in here and um, we'll see how we can get, uh, get around that. What we're supposed to do here is that we're supposed to extract the bulk of this code uh, out from this place where it's completely inaccessible for unit testing. So this is a function here taking a request and a response and uh, it's uh, getting things from the request and it's getting them all over the place so we have adherence to the request response framework all over the code here. So this is very hard to test. Um, we also have these SQL queries so we need to take things apart here. What we'd like to do is we'd like to have a function that takes some parameters on input and then returns a cost on the output. Uh, this is going to be a lot easier to test than actually verifying that response was called with the send method with the right argument. Uh, we also want to remove uh, an actual uh, 
uh, linkage to the MySQL database, uh, which is under here, so that tests can be fast and um, and don't have to leave state uh, after after execution. Right. So we're going to do this by uh, testing where it's easiest. So this is easiest tested from the actual public API. We're going to spin up a REST server and we're going to hit that with HTTP request. Uh, we're going to uh, use a MySQL database uh, on a local Docker or a local server with some pre-configured data in it. And uh, that's the easiest way to put some tests in place. That's not the best way to uh, keep those tests though, because they are expensive to maintain and unwieldy to work with. But that only poses a problem for the maintenance phase. So we can happily write a lot of tests using that in the first phase and then refactor and then rewrite the tests. So uh, now I'm going to do a code demo. Um, if you want to try this by yourself, you might want to pause here and try it by yourself and then come back to see how did I do it. 